This workshop was officiated by the Ministry of Forestry and Land Reclamation and Principal Secretary, Mrs. Dorinia Chawana, who indicated that, that it is the mandate of the Ministry to ensure food security, to reduce poverty and for environment protection. She confirms that this climate risk assessment at the farm level project will enhance their mandate as the Ministry. Adaptation to climate change is an urgent issue that requires multidisciplinary and integrated efforts to ensure sustainable food security. Lesotho is one of the countries that heavily rely on agricultural production subsistence and for income generations, especially in the rural part of Lesotho. Mr. Program Director, ladies and gentlemen, this training will cover the following areas. One, basic climate risk concept. Two, climate risk in agriculture. Three, climate risk management at farm level. Four, climate information for risk management and sustainable production. Last but not least, five, addressing gaps in climate information services. The Food Agricultural Organization representative Mr. Mokitinyan in Timu stressed his own concern over lack of services for people in the rural. He also confessed his satisfaction over the government of prioritizing the climate change assessment. He therefore urges all actors in this area to work as a team rather than a competitors to expand the capability development. We also noticed the importance of capacity development in this area. And here I mean capacity at all levels, at central level, at district level, and at community level. It's only when we have built the, the necessary capacities that we will be able to tackle these issues of climate change adaptation. This training, it's just part of that capacity development um, uh, in this area. It is focusing on imparting those capabilities that will help the technical step that are engaged on these uh, climate change adaptation initiatives to lead those initiatives better. But we are also under no illusion that training alone uh, is capacity development. We need to go beyond this training and uh, see capacities, develop capacities around institutions and also work around policy enabling environment. He then advises that climate change be not approached on a project context only, but on number of programs. He says effects like of last year's El Nino are predicted not yet over. Reporting for LTV News, I am Lechonolo Mochari at Maseru.